Well, howdy again there, guys and girls. Y'all have seen me turn snowmen. And you've seen me decorate snowmen. I've got two full videos on how I do that. And you, I did that collaboration snowman that I didn't decorate with Indiana Jones the week before last. What you haven't seen me do is a snowman quite like I'm going to do today. I was commissioned to do a very special snowman I recently shared on my Instagram. So I'm going to try to make another one. It won't be exactly the same as the first one, but it should be close enough. So Mary, this is for you. Y'all come along with me and see what happens. In my last few videos, I've noticed that my in, my new inverter is emitting a signal that only this camera picks up. So I'm I'm going. I haven't had a chance to adjust that yet. I'm going to try to adjust that out. But for the time being, I'm going to turn on the 2014. This is a small enough project for that. And uh, I'm going to try a new mic position. I've got it attached to. Well, I've got it. I got it right here. So when I put my face shield down, it shouldn't make that much difference. We'll see. Face shield on, in go mode. Wow, a bit out of balance it is, but that won't be long. So I'm kicking about 850. Get this bark off of here and make it round. This is another piece of live oak, and it's some hard stuff. The live oak is dustier than I thought it was. It's throwing a lot of dust, so I turned my dust collector on. <laughs> Take a gander at this. Still not quite round, but it's getting better. Okay, I'm gonna take my badan tool, square this end up, and then I'm gonna cut a tenon on it, put it in the chuck. going to be ashamed to die of this. I can't take it down any smaller. I'll lose too much. The bedan's almost like a skew. You can make pretty nice peeling cuts with it and remove a lot of material quickly. What I'm trying to do right now is get down to the rough diameter of his head. <laughs> yeah, it's that hard. This oak is hard stuff. You see what we look like. Rough as a cob is what we look like. Okay, let's part this off.
think that's gonna work, man. Okay, I'm only taking this to 220, that's enough. I'm not gonna use an abrasive paste on it because I wanna make sure, I gotta dye it, and I wanna make sure the dye is gonna take well, I've been told by, or heard it said by, the uh, people that color wood a lot that you get a richer color of things like red, which I need to do here, if you first color it black. So that's what I'm doing. So you color it black, and then you sand it back. And because of how smooth I sanded this, it didn't go just really, really jet black. And that's okay too, because I don't think it needs to be really, really jet black. Now we'll give that a little while to dry and I'll come back, sand it back. I'm not dying his head, I'm gonna leave it natural. But I'll sand it back a little bit, then I'll hit it with the red and we'll see what it looks like. I'll come back when that's dry. Okay, let's try the red. I've got this diluted 50-50 with denatured alcohol, and it's going to take a whole lot of coats to get this red. This is the dye I use. I'm going to take it straight out of the bottle. Cut it back because sometimes you don't need it quite this thick. See, it's almost a gel. Before I screw up and get dye on his head. See, it's getting redder all the time. You just keep applying coats until you get it to the red that you want. The vibrance of the color would depend on whatever color you're using. I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, let's park this off. Sorry I'm in the way. Let's turn the hat. Pendergaud. Don't you my Pendergaud. I know you can't see me hollow in the inside of this, but I'm just making it dome to fit his head. I know people don't like hackberry as a tree, but my gosh, this stuff turns so nice. Oh, so close. I'm a digging it. It's a going to work, boys and girls. I'm going to move you. Okay, I sanded the hat up. So now it's time to 
see if I can match the red color. <clears throat> Might be tricky because there's a different species of wood, but. <clears throat> this is going to be more red. I didn't want to put the black on it and sand it off because sanding this shape's not that easy. But I don't think I'm going to have much choice. That's just not going to be the same color red if I don't. I'll let this dry and sand it back, hit it with the black and sand it back, and then hit it with the red again. Oh well, I tried. Okay, time to do some decorating here. So there's the rope around his hat. Put just a little nubbin on. So there's the hat done. I'm not much of a painter, but I'm going to try to paint his eyes. I'll let that dry for a little bit before I do the white.
Okay, gotta go find some arms. The reason that I'm putting his arm back like this is because he's going to be holding a knapsack full of presents. With this one, he's just going to be waving high. Only one thing left to do, other than the knapsack full of toys, and I've got those sacks on order, they should be here sometime today, and that is to Now I just need my knapsack to get, oh wait, I've got, I forgot something, the white around his neck. Okay, that's him done. The knapsack is out for delivery. It should be here sometime today. When they come in, I'll put it on and shoot the stills and we'll be done with this bad boy. Okay, here he is, all done. He's got his little knapsack full of Christmas presents slung over his shoulder. I think he's pretty cute. So, Mary, I hope you like him. Waiting for him to get to his new home. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. I hope this is something that you enjoyed. I, I know I enjoyed making it. And if, uh, and if you think some of your friends might enjoy it too, share it. Get that sucker on out there on social media. It's only the second one of these I've ever made like this. But... I'll probably be making more in the future. I actually fashioned the belt buckle myself out of some wire. I made the glasses out of wire. And the only thing I didn't make this time, last time I made the knapsack, I just didn't have time to get that done and I was out of the fabric that I used last time. So I just went online and ordered a package of them from Amazon. They're about the right size and I think they work uh, very well. So. I've got it stuffed full of styrofoam peanuts. <laughs> no, toys. It's toys. It's got toys in it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, like I said, please like, subscribe, and most of all, share. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you liked it, if you don't like it. If you don't like it, why? I, I really appreciate it. If you want to support the Messy Studio in any way, the links are in the description below. You can go to my website and buy things. It's right here. Send me an email if you have questions. That's right here too. Until next time, remember, live, laugh, and love. And y'all come back.